all right yes thank you very much for staying with us once again and joining us on this channel black stars coach utuado has revealed and announced his black star squad for the two games ghana will be playing versus kwesi aps sudan home and away version you know that we confirmed to you in the last video we made that calf has changed the date for the game previously the ghana versus sudan the home game that we are going to play first was going to come on on the 11th of october that's friday but then it is it has been changed from 11th to the 10th of october so it will be played on thursday so next week thursday ghana black stars will be playing versus sudan in 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 accra in ghana here and then the return leg which was supposed to come on on the 14th of october which is monday has now been moved to the uh, 15th of october which is tuesday um yes so the two games you now the dates have been changed all the two games and that's the situation um and the news all right yeah we have to reiterate now we are going to look at the black star squad we are going to look at everything what we expect from the black stars players and the coach a black stars coach master don't forget that ghana black stars is having just one point in the group from two games played ghana has just one point we are going to delve into the group stages the calculations and everything and we are going to look at the overview of the black star squad in this video on this channel sports 7 gh do want to subscribe to the channel like the video hit the notification bell and then select all leave your thoughts comments below in the comment section if you have any it's always a great pleasure to have you join us thank you very much for staying the squad didn't see a lot of <laughs> changes and a lot of new faces no new faces everybody be a woman except for isaac afo from summer Tech. he's a new face in the black star squad we have ibrahim Sulemana, a proper defensive midfielder coming into the black stars midfield and then there is no um there is um ns nyama also returning into the attack there is alexander jiku returning into the defense they are all new uh, old players we've been seeing them in the squad we've already told you that coach otuado wants to build a consistent squad so in in november ghana blasters will be playing another african cup of nations qualifiers you see that these players who are here you now you are going to see almost all of them in the next squad so uh, that is what is happening all right with the black stars now the black stars no team no okay you let's look at the team when i saw him or the chairman's a player we on yard be okay and Aki Williams is playing for Athletic Bilbao. Yesterday, we came to tell you that he has scored his uh, goal in the Europa League. In the uh, Spanish La Liga, he's scoring goals and assisting for them. And Aki Williams is there. If you go to jo Joseph Penzo, if you go to USA, he's doing very well, scoring goals for LA Galaxy. He's excellent. Antoine Semenyo, bomb off. English Premier League. He's doing very well and excelling and scoring goals. Jordan Ayew for English Premier League Leicester City. Thomas Partey for Arsenal playing the UEFA Champions League, competing at the highest level in the English Premier League with Arsenal. Gideon Mensah, French League A. Ah. Um, Ryan Vallecano, uh, goal of the month of September, has been won by Rayo Vallecano's abdomen. He's a Ghanaian in the Spanish La Liga. No, he's a Ghanaian. He scored a goal and it has won the goal of the month in the La Liga. <laughs> if you go to Fenerbahce, Turkish football, they are playing the Europa League. Yesterday, Alexander Jiku played. Massa, quality players. <laughs> we can mention on and on Kudus Mohamed and the rest, Majid Ashimeru, Fatah Shaku and the rest. We can mention. Ah. So give me a reason why we cannot beat Sudan. Ode Mohamed can me. <laughs> just tell me why we cannot and why we shouldn't beat Sudan. Just tell me. Tell me that one player be I need as well Prawamba. And I said, tell me that we don't have quality players. Just tell me. Why should Sudan, whose players you know, are not like us, why should they come and beat us and then Ghana we will accept that oh it is normal, we are rebuilding, whatever, whatever. Now <laughs> what's that? Ghana, where we are standing, you know, it is very likely that we will not qualify to the Af African Cup of Nations if we don't get maximum points versus Sudan, especially in the first game versus Sudan. And I know, look, I'm telling you, even ahead, Kwasi Apia will come to Ghana and defend a proper low block team. That's what Kwasi Apia is coming to do. Proper low block. Because if he looks at the table, uh, Ghana, you have one point. He has three points. 
if Kwasi Apia manages to get even one point from Ghana, that is four points. He goes on, uh, Sudan goes on four points. Ghana will stay on two points. Now you will come to Libya. That is his home game. You come and play him uh, uh, um, as a home, uh, and a Sudan will be playing at home. At home, that place, no, he also tried to defend and catch you on a counter. If he gets one point, if he gets, if he gets the three maximum three points, he's qualifying. The thing is that Angola has already qualified. Oh, Tom, Angola, they have six points. Definitely, home and away, they are playing. Niger home and away. Carry uh, once we are playing Sudan home and away. Angola will be playing Niger home and away. At least they will take one three points from 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 Angola and um, from Niger. At least they will beat Niger at home. Niger at home there. Angola will win, so they will go or not nine points away. It's it's away from home. They are going to play in Morocco. Ah, Ni Angola will take one point. So Angola they they have already qualified though. They will get at least ten points after. These October games, I'm telling you, mark it anywhere. A Angola is going to get at least 10 points from these October games. He's not going to lose to Niger. Eh? He's not going to lose to Niger. So Angola has already qualified to the African Cup of Nations. It's simple. And Ghana will go to Angola. Listen to the thing. Oh. Ghana Black Stars will go return leg to Angola. And then we will host, them, of course, we host Niger here. So, if you don't pick maximum points, at least we should beat Sudan at home. And then we should at least we are a draw. But if we really want to qualify to the AFCON, we have to go and pick maximum points also away at Sudan. Because they are playing away from home. Libya. Libya no more war, no. Libya there. Massa. So, the group dynamics, no. We have no room for any slip-ups. That's the point I'm trying to make. We cannot be drawing because if you go away to Angola, I'm telling you, even if Angola has qualified, they will still want to beat Ghana to ensure that they beat Ghana at home and away, and it will be a bragging right. It will be there for a very long time. So men for winning got two Angola points now. Okwa kobo away no so men for winning got two so Tom na Angola sabe she Ghana beam because about how she. I'm telling the truth. So the possible, the likely three points Ghana will get. Is the home game we are going to play versus Niger? That is not yet. That has not yet come. Sudan will also play away versus Niger, and Sudan will host Angola at home. When they went away to Angola, it was a very difficult game. Angola won just two one, and it was very close and tight. I can tell you that Sudan can get something from Angola, and so if Sudan gets even three points from Ghana. Look, I'm telling you, to qualify for African Cup of Nations 2025 in Morocco is going to be very difficult. And there is no excuse. Masa, excuse baby. Right now, the pitch, you know, it's not that bad. Even if it's bad, it's not that bad. There is no excuse for Tuado and his uh, players to falter versus... There is no excuse, though. Ah, excuse baby, you know, you have quality than them. Your players are informed, playing very well. Today, Tuado said that the English Premier League is more tougher than the Swedish League. When he was talking about Michael Bade, why he, he didn't call the player. So if your players are playing in the most toughest league, English Premier League, Spanish La Liga, uh, French Liga, and the rest, and yes, so you cannot use those quality players to go and beat Sudan, whose players are playing in local teams and all of that. Uh, Masa, what are you talking about? You should be able to beat Sudan. We should beat them home and away. At least home and then draw away. Four points. Because if we get four points, we will move to five points. Sudan will stay on three points, and then we can hope that well, we are going to qualify to the African Cup of Nations. The truth is that we cannot stay home when African Cup of Nations are happening in uh, Morocco, and then we are home. What is that? What sort of rebuilding is that? Otuado. Hey, Charlie, Massa, pressure now there also, no? Hey, yeah, bigger than the one you had versus Nigeria. Yes, today I was listening to you, and it looks like every time Biana we had pressure was on us versus that pressure, not pressure. B I was on you versus Nigeria. I'm telling the truth. Now versus Nigeria, no, if you didn't qualify, no Ghanaian would have been so mad because we knew that we couldn't have qualified. But here we are expecting to qualify, so the pressures are two different situations. I'm telling you that's the truth. The pressure near two different situations. Oh, now as I walk up, now everybody, every Ghanaian told her, look, we are not going to qualify. <laughs> so if you didn't qualify, we, 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 and can how be a, But this one, if you don't qualify, it's going to be serious one. It's going to be so ah, 
how we are in the same group with sudan angola niger and ghana and then ghana fails to qualify to the afcon hey master what is this we cannot place first two to qualify to the afcon we cannot oh master so we have everything you have everything to beat sudan and we indeed we should beat them Ewa Honoma enye easy. Michael Beidou ran so the back on his daughter and the rest who are scoring goals they were not caught. Utuado says he's still monitoring Michael Beidou. Um, yeah, dear. So yes, he ain't sure how long he will continue to monitor him. The Swedish league is not that poor. I'm telling you the truth. Yesterday they caught AS Roman. They beat them. Ilsbok. Ilsbok beat AS Roman. <laughs> Maza. Swedish league is not poor like that. I don't know how people think like Swedish league. Hey, Maza. Swedish. It's not Bulgaria or like Latvia, B, Armenia, B, Assembly. You can Sweden, no. Mother, Sweden is a proper football nation that qualifies to the World Cup and the rest, Euros and the rest. Hey, Sweden. So, if somebody is playing in Sweden now, uh, it's not that poor. Ah, Namunko Fred, a Crawley Town, eh, Jojo, Joe, Lako, Freva. Of really two, what was I say in the League One, Ewa, England. That is like third or second, third division war, Ghana. Huh? Ah, now if you've got Jojo Wallacott from Crawley Town, League One or so in England, how can't you call Michael Beidou from the Swedish League? <laughs> what sort of logic is this? Logic, baby. Now Jojo Wallacott, Crawley Town, or no, yeah. he's always conceding go. Wa is our bread. Ah, now, uh, number one goalkeeper, St. Gallen, a Switzerland League. Lawe Satis is considered six goals yesterday. Oh, now me cry no pain. I'm using as how because he did six goals. Yes, he six yesterday. Six. He considered six goals, but he will be your number one on the day. So if somebody is in Switzerland, now guys at the end there, England, massa, 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 massa. You could have added him to be twenty six players. And say she. Oh well. Thank you very much for staying with us and joining us once again. Let me know your thoughts, comments, views, opinions in the comment section. Like the video. Hit that notification bell and select. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.